Hello faux fam, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications. I'm chilling in bed today. We're just hanging out. No makeup, I'm in sweats. We're just vibing. Okay, we're all at home. Most of us probably don't even get ready most of the days and I don't really want to get out of bed. So here I am filming in bed. Today, as you guys know from the title, I'm doing Netflix movie recommendations. Last time I did a video like this, it was about TV shows and you guys really liked it. So I thought I would share with you some good movie ideas since all we're doing is watching Netflix. So without further ado, let's get started. All right. Right, first up we have the movie six underground this is a very like action movie and it's featuring ryan reynolds so you already know it's gonna be good with a hint of funny all that good stuff this movie is pretty good okay i just like don't know how to describe movies moving on to the next one um inception classic christopher nolan directed it so you know it's gonna be good also so excited for his new movie tenant to come out that's gonna be fire um if you haven't seen inception it is like a classic staple ask me my favorite movies we've got like inception interstellar it is just up there with the top so like 10 out of 10 on this movie if you haven't seen it it's on netflix Murder Mystery. It's got great actors and it's funny, it's goofy, it's got some plot twists, which is always good in a movie. So, 10 out of 10. Oh my gosh, this movie, Limitless. In my Netflix TV shows, I recommended Limitless, the TV show. But actually, the first Limitless is a movie. You have to watch the movie first for the TV show to make more sense. It is seriously one of the best movies ever. It's basically like, there's this drug called NZT, I think, and it like makes you really, really, really smart. And so this guy who's like struggling takes it, and then it's just like amazing. I could watch this movie and the TV show a million times. So that's like so much entertainment. You get a movie and then a whole season of a TV show. Don't know why they stopped making it. It's the best. All right, next up we have Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Seriously, if you have not seen this movie by now, you are behind and you need to go watch it. It is a masterpiece. They literally reinvented animation for this movie and I've watched like every behind the scenes video about this movie because um me and my in-laws are like movie fanatics so I know like everything about this movie and how it was made and how insane it is but it's basically like another Spider-Man movie. It's made by Sony I think. It's like made like a comic book but like a movie. It's amazing. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out. It is on Netflix, which is a blessing. And just to go with that, I'm just, I could go on and on about Marvel and Disney movies that are on Netflix that are amazing. So I'm just gonna say it. If there's any like Marvel movie, it's 10 out of 10 for me if it's on Netflix, okay, any of them. Also, most Disney movies are gonna be 10 out of 10 if they're still on Netflix and not Disney Plus. So those are always a good go-to. All right, next up we have Bird Box, and I'm pretty sure all of us have seen this, but if you haven't, I thought I'd just throw it in there. Some people might have been like, I'm not gonna watch that because it was too hype or whatever, but it, like, there's a reason it was popular. It was a really good movie. I mean, there's not much else to say about it. It's a great movie. Okay, for a few funny ones, we have Hot Rod. This is a classic. I grew up on Hot Rod and I just found out that it was on Netflix, so probably gonna watch it again. It is like just the stupidest movie. It's such like a teenage boy humor type of movie, but it's funny and it's lighthearted. It can distract us, okay? We need distractions here. I mean, if you haven't seen this movie, what are you doing? <laughs> um, okay, this next one I actually haven't seen, but I asked Down for recommendations, and he was like, oh, have you seen The Other Guys? I personally have not seen it, but it is a comedy. I don't know anything about it because I haven't seen it, but I've heard it's great, so I'm going to rate it a 10 out of 10 based on other people's opinions. So I'll watch it, and you guys can go watch it too. Next up, we have The B Movie. I mean, I know we've all seen it, but maybe it's time we watch it again. Let's just go back a couple years to when The B Movie was the biggest meme ever. Those were good times, so let's just just rewatch the B movie, give it the appreciation it needs. It's such a good movie. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is a Netflix original, but it's called Secret Obsession. It's kind of scary, kind of freaked me out once I got to the end. Basically, this girl gets in a car wreck, I think, and then um, this guy comes in, says, I'm her husband, and then they both go like away together. And I can't spoil the ending or say anything else about it because I will spoil it. But there's plot twist and then you find out all this stuff and you're like freaking out and you're kind of scared. So maybe don't watch it alone if you don't like scary movies. It's more like a thriller, not like scary, not like horror or anything. The actual movie itself is a little bit cringeworthy. It's like not really predictable, but it kind of can be. So I'm going to rate this one like an 8 out of 10. Okay, The Matrix. 
I refuse to watch The Matrix for so long because I am so weird. I do not like to watch movies if they were like older than me. So if they're before 2001, I probably won't be watching it. But I've been like slowly working my way into watching older movies even though I just like, oh, they're such bad quality. I just really like cinematics and like, I don't know. I just, old movies I'm struggling with, but I'm trying. I don't even really like movies past like 2000. Eight, but I'm trying okay anyway I finally committed and watched the matrix and mind blown it is an amazing movie I mean there are there's so many quotes about it songs about it like the matrix if you haven't seen it go watch it I've only seen the first one too so even I'm behind all right let's all go watch the matrix Batman mmm one of the only DC movies I will ever fully love and appreciate is Batman mmm Batman Begins and Batman, what's it called? Batman Begins and Dark Knight are on Netflix, which is a blessing from Netflix. Sadly, Dark Knight Rises is not on Netflix. That's the third one. I mean, they're masterpieces. They're cinematic masterpieces. The actors, amazing. The first one is like how Batman begins hence the title. It's kind of not really so much like action, but it like when you watch all three of them together, it makes it beautiful. And then the second one is kind of just like a off. I'm just explaining if you haven't seen them all three together, you need to see them all three together because I'd only ever like seen them like as they came out and I was like kind of younger when they came out. So I never understood the third one, like the ending of the third one never really made sense to me. But now that I've watched all three, I, wa I could watch them a million times. They are amazing. But the first one is just like the origin stories. The second one is probably Probably the most famous one it has the Joker in it and obviously amazing acting that's such a good movie and then the third one just kind of wraps up the story from the first one so the middle one is kind of just like in between showing how Batman's like a superhero and then it goes back to like the origin story vibes mm, the ending makes so much more sense if you watch all three so two of them are on Netflix and then somehow find the third one it's amazing okay marriage story it just came out not that long ago I watched it on a plane ride downloaded it it's pretty good it's obviously got some amazing actors in it Scarlett Johansson she's amazing and forgot the other guy's name but he's great too basically just about like a true like real life situation of a marriage and it's an emotional roller coaster so go give it a watch <laughs> oh my gosh the next one so this movie's called Hancock let me just like read I don't even know how to describe this so I'm gonna look it up and read like the what Netflix tells you it's about so Will Smith is the main actor and um, Will Smith stars as Hancock a down-and-out superhero who's forced to employ a public relations expert to help repair his image so basically he's like a superhero but he's like an alcoholic and like everyone kind of hates him even though he like sort of saves everyone every once in a while he can like fly and he's really strong and stuff so then he has this like um public relations person try to like help improve his image so he can be a superhero but there's like a plot twist and like this movie is like so stupid like terrible cgi graphics just not great but it is just funny to like just watch and laugh at and it's like pretty entertaining so i'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. all right then there's this movie called what happened to monday so there's seven twins or whatever it is i don't really know and they each have a day that they can go outside because there can only be one kid per family i guess and then one of them goes missing and that's gonna mess up the whole situation because if one of them is gone then none of the other ones can go outside or obviously there's two of them you know it's pretty entertaining, plot twist, and action. It's it's a good one. I would just go watch it. Mmm! You already know I'm gonna love it if Dylan O'Brien is the main character. Guess what's next? American Assassin. I actually finally just watched this two days ago. I remember when it was hype and everyone always talked about it. I had no idea that Dylan O'Brien was the main actor. If I knew that, I would have saw it years ago. He is like my ultimate man crush. Like, I love him. I don't know why, I just do. And I'm gonna cry talking about him. He was the type of guy that in middle school I would watch like Vine edits of because he's just a beautiful human being. Anyway, American Assassin is a great movie. I'm not gonna try to explain it because I'll probably end up spoiling it. It's an action movie. Check it out. It's really intense though, so warning there. Okay, and to finish up this video, I'm gonna give you guys some of my favorite chick flicks and that'll be it. So the first one I actually haven't seen, but I've heard a lot of good things about and I really do wanna watch it, but it's after. So we can go explore that one. I don't even know what it's about, 
I just, it's always on my recommended and people always are talking about it. Next, we have Failure to Launch. It is such a good movie. It's a, like a little bit older. It's still in the 2000s. It's not like that old, but it's Matthew McConaughey. Okay, so you already know it's gonna be good. He still lives in his parents' house and they hire this girl to get him to move out and then things go out of hand. So just check it out. Um, oh my gosh, this one is like, is it even good? I don't know, but it's called Falling In Love with two ends because it's like an inn, like a hotel. It's kind of like a Hallmark vibe. So like it's enjoyable. You can watch it, but it's so predictable. I mean, when you're in the mood for just like a lighthearted chick flick, it's a good, it's a good go-to. Mm, love Rosie. If you haven't seen this yet, it's a beautiful movie. It is so good. I cried like the whole movie. So I'm just gonna not even say anything and say go watch it. The Notebook. This is like, wanna watch a chick flick? What are we gonna watch? The Notebook. It is a classic chick flick. It is the go-to chick flick. It is like the chick flick of all chick flicks. If you haven't seen it yet, I don't even know why it's on this list. We've all seen it. But if you haven't, it's amazing. Ryan Gosling's in it and he's a beautiful human being. So check that one out. And last but not least, we have Life As We Know It. I'm already going to say it's a 10 out of 10 movie. Basically, these two people go on a first date. It goes really bad. They hate each other, but they're friends with these this couple who's married, so they always have to hang out together. And then the couple dies in a car accident, and then the two people that hate each other are told that they have to raise the baby. So just go watch it. I mean, it is funny. It's great, and it's a really good chick flick, so 10 out of 10. Um, the next kind of movie video that I have an idea for would be like chick flicks that your boyfriend would actually like. So if you guys want to see me make a video like that, I've actually been making a list, and I feel like we all need that that list in our lives. So let me know if that's something you guys want to see. I hope you enjoyed these recommendations and they were actually movies you haven't seen yet. But that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below your favorite Netflix movie. I love you guys so much. If you're not subscribed, make sure to hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!